There's been a lot of unnecessary hate, in my opinion, given towards unstable surface training and rehabilitation programs using devices such as Vicors, BOSUs, or foam services. Now, in the last episode in November in JOSPT 2014, there was an article that looked at a cutting task, basically an athlete moving as fast as they can forward, cutting on a plate that literally shifted underneath their foot, and then cutting to the right or to the left, basically a 90-degree cut. In the study, they had a group of people that just worked on balance for six weeks straight, essentially doing a lot of the exercises that we're demonstrating here in the video. Also manipulating a lot of different variables, meaning eyes open, eyes closed, head turns, unstable surfaces. Essentially, balance is made out of three components, vestibular vision and sensory, and they were altering all of them in order to improve people's balance. Now, the best finding of this study is that just doing those balance exercises reduced their knee abduction moments and even more importantly, it changed their muscle recruitment patterns. They found increased core activation even prior to stepping, meaning the body's ability to control the torso really affects where the lower extremity aligns. In addition to that, they also found increased glute max and glute med firing right before. Again, that's now controlling the femoral rotation and abduction. So, end of the story. You can 100% do your balance training exercises on unstable surfaces. It is, yes, it's not meant to strength train on it, but 100% you should and you need to be improving your patient's balance. Even in your later stage patients where you're thinking, oh, they don't have any balance deficits, put them on an unstable surface, put them even on a stable surface, close their eyes, shake their head, and you will find deficits. I can guarantee it.